Okay, so in some ways I feel like we're back to kind of square one on some of this, but that's kind of okay. Um, I'm going to rip up some of this because I want to kind of straighten this little bit out here, um, kind of curve this around a little bit more. Um, I moved the canoe over to here. I think that still looks fine. That gives that a little bit more room to uh, grow. I'm going to make this kind of rocky. I think I think that matches kind of the rocks over there. To make that a little bit more rockier, I got plenty of room to slope over here. Um, so I got to get another layer of plate down here. Um, I might just use some more of the blue so that in case if I decide that I want to um, just tile a little bit more in some areas, I think that probably makes the most sense. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we will, uh, probably need to wait till I get my dark tan plate or my dark tan wedge plate, which is coming soon, hopefully. Um, so, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start to show you kind of what I'm doing here. So we get the kind of idea, um, for what's going to go on here. All right. Today I want to try a couple things with the beach area. Um, obviously I'm still waiting on tile. But um, I got in a couple figs, I got in some fun umbrellas, I got some palm tree parts, and I just kind of want to start in this little corner here and kind of try a couple things. I want to try getting umbrellas out, I want to see about uh, maybe making like a beach blanket for like a fig, and just kind of assessing the size that that needs to be and what that kind of looks like. Um, kind of assessing how tall the palm trees are, are the palm trees going to block the boardwalk too much, so do I need to not do palm trees? Um, and so I kind of want to just assess those couple things and kind of see where we go from there. And, um, you know, don't get too crazy because I just want to figure out if I need to order more parts, basically. Um, so I'm going to grab a couple more things to maybe try out a little beach blanket looking thing. And, uh, we'll try that with some umbrellas and see kind of where we get. All right. So I got a couple different things mocked up here. Um, I got the surfboards kind of stuck in the stand. I got a umbrella that's kind of mounted at an angle. Um, I got beach blankets underneath. The figs are kind of leaning back. Um, what do y'all think of this? Do you think this is the way to go? Um, does the fact that this is kind of like bulky annoy you? Like, let me step back for a second. I guess you can't really tell when you step back. Um, is this a good size umbrella? Um, there's lots of different things to kind of look at here. Um, cause, so compared to different size umbrella, different mounting style, no beach blanket, um, scared face. He's maybe scared of the tide, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I care for the way that this sits. I think I might like it a little bit better if it was maybe not so like leaned back. I feel like that's a pretty hard angle maybe. Um, I don't know. Uh, it might be a little like if he was standing up. Let's stand him up. You know, if he was standing on that side, he's a little bit taller than the umbrella. Is that realistic? Maybe, I guess. If it's stuck in the stand, maybe. Um, I don't know, I just feel like this feels more complete. This feels chaotic. But maybe, like, his umbrella's blowing away. I don't know. Maybe that's why he's scared. So maybe that's a thing we could do, you know. He's trying to... Uh, trying to catch his umbrella because it's blown away. Um, I don't know. What do we think? Does that look realistic? Does it look accurate? Is the size okay? I don't know. Still undecided about that. Um, and then let's get over here because these are really kind of cool. I So um, there's a lot of vintage stuff going on here. Okay, so this is a vintage fig. This is from Paradisa, um, which is like a long time ago set. Um, maybe early 90s, I think. I could be totally off on that, but uh, very vintage fig. Not too many different variants of Paradisa figs, um, but a lot are kind of um, good for the beach. So I'll probably be picking up some more of them. I know I have a couple more laying around here somewhere. I'll need to find them. Um, but then we have the very vintage uh, trunk pieces. These are super cool. Um, they're pretty expensive just because they are vintage, but they're totally moldable so they are in they are individual pieces oops that's the wrong thing um they're individual little pieces and they kind of snap together um and then you can bend them around they make base plates they also make like a fixed version of this too 
Um, but I like the individual versions because A, you can bend them however you want, but you can also make them as tall as you want. Um, and then these go on the top of them and you can do a couple different ways. And so let me show you what the, what the standard vintage way is. Ignore the mess. Um, this is, um, actually right off the El Dorado Fortress, but the, the, the new one, but this is basically the way that they did it before is that it's four of these kind of big broad leaves stuck on one of those things you can see there there's the thing um with a plate and then a round brick on top okay so that's kind of like the vintage way to do it um i've tried just these before and that doesn't feel super full to me um so i wanted to try a couple different things here this is just using those broad leaves and doing an extra layer so that there's uh you know, eight points on there. Um, is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of them on there. Um, I kind of don't hate it, to be honest. It looks much more full. Um, so I don't hate that. Um, and then there's also this version as well, which is um, these kind of older style leaves on top. And then what I did was I double stacked the uh these guys in there so that i had the studs to do this but then also i had room to clip on four of the like newer style leaves under it and i can obviously do just one color rather than all of the colors um but i just wanted to try something different um just to see if there's something a little bit better that i could do since i since i do have some options and um maybe this would look better with um if I did a uh, if I did a plate with a jumper in the middle and did just stacked uh, two off each way, um, let me go grab that and try that. Okay, I don't know if that weighs any better to be honest. Um, maybe uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know if I like that. I think maybe just the way I first did it might be the might be the way to go. Um, Maybe if I had a round one, I would like it a little bit better. I don't know, though. Um, I guess one more thing to try. One problem about them being super movable is that when you go to stick stuff on top, they move all around. But um, that's not too bad. I could probably live with that if I did maybe um, just put two studs there just so it was kind of like complete on top. Um, that's not too bad. Um, I don't know. So what do you guys think? Think? Um, I definitely like a couple palm trees in here. I think that would add a lot to the, um, kind of beach look of it. Um, and I think that would be a nice tie in because this does eventually tie in with the pirates theme, even though it's not, I'm not making them one thing per se, but I think keeping a little bit of that tie in going all the way through, I think would be nice and kind of really connect this area a little bit. Um, connected but not connected. Is that a thing? That's a thing now. Um, then obviously I got these little tables, which I think are fine to put around. Maybe put a couple people around them with some food and stuff. Um, so what do y'all think? Do you guys like the beach towels? Are they the right size? Do they need to be a little bit bigger? Do they need to be a little smaller? Um, is this the right size umbrella? Is a smaller umbrella okay? Um, is there a palm tree thing you like? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really just kind of just playing around with some of these things just to see what I like and uh, to see if I need to order more pieces. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to need to source some more of these guys. And uh, these are not cheap. But anyways, um, yeah, thanks for thanks for, thanks for thanks for watching. I know today was kind of a quick video, but uh, just kind of playing around with some things right now in the beach area to just kind of be brainstorming so that when I am ready to detail all this, I have the parts available and I'm not like going halfway, sitting, waiting for a bunch of parts to come in. So thanks, y'all.